Split toning is a great way to evoke a certain feeling from your video footage or even achieve a dramatic effect that leaves a lasting impression with your watches. Basically, split toning involves adding a color to the shadows and highlights of a video. It's a recent addition to the Video Editor's Toolkit and very easy to apply to good effect in Color Director. One of the most common ways split toning is used is to add an orange color to the highlights to warm up footage or a blue color to the shadows to convey a cooler feeling. Here are a few before after examples to give you an idea of what we're talking about. Let's take a closer look at the example of the late afternoon beach scene to see how we achieved the split toning effect. After importing the video footage and adding it to the timeline, click on the adjustment tab and in the global adjustment tools, go to split toning. The split toning area is divided up into highlights and shadows, each with its own hue and saturation sliders. To warm up the highlights of the beach scene, drag the hue slider or click the color palette and select an orange color. The saturation slider determines how intensely that color will be applied to the highlights. To give the video a late afternoon feel, we can apply a subtle blue to the shadows in the same manner, which will help to provide a nice contrast and offer a bit more depth. Play around with the hues and saturation until you achieve the look you're after. Color Director will automatically apply your adjustments to the entire video clip. The balance slider deals with the areas between highlights and shadows. Specifically, it prioritizes which of these areas is more prominent. Move the slider to the right and the highlights will dominate. To the left and the shadows in the video will become stronger. If you want to save the adjustment settings you've just made so you can use them on future projects, click the Create button at the bottom of the tool panel. In the box that pops up, you can see what adjustment tools have been applied. Name your preset. And save it. upload it to DirectorZone for other editors to use, or if you have a Cyberlink Cloud account, save it there.